Well, Mark, the magic of the FA Cup, uh, the unpredictability of it, sometimes it can bring the best out of teams, sometimes it can bring out the worst. Today you've lost 1-0 against Cheshire. What, what are your first thoughts of the 90 minutes? Should have won the game. We had enough opportunities, we had enough territory around their box, but we didn't, didn't produce. We didn't. Uh, we got in great positions, and our the players in the team that are in those positions to finish the actions or create the actions didn't didn't come to the fore today. And there's too many times now for our all our dominance and getting from the edge of our box to the edge of theirs. Too many times now this season, it's not we've not scored enough goals. There's another. It's another, you know, no, no goals today. One last week, one week before, then not before that, not before that. Not scoring enough goals for the positions we get. I mean, you see it in many FA Cup encounters with a, a lower league side and a, a higher opposition. You sort of teams get thrown into the game, and you sort of you almost gave them the opportunity, oppo um, the opportunity, sorry, to to build into the game. Yeah, like they, they didn't threaten our goal at all. They had, they had the corner at the end, which you have to defend. Um, we get caught 1v1 at the back, we don't sort that out from the goalkeeper um, and then we don't, it's a free header from the corner and, uh, and Raf doesn't mark his man and he gets a free header so <laughs> fair play to them, they stay in the game but they must have sensed that we were never going to score because we, we look really, really, unless Kieran scores, it doesn't look like we're going to score at the minute. No, I mean, you, you mentioned sort of the last two goals coming from Kieran McGuckin, but you can't always rely no. on your, your young loanee coming in. I mean, what is the solution to it? You, you know, I mean, it's probably a head scratcher, really, in the fact that you've got some powerful bodies that are up, up the top of the pitch but aren't, aren't producing. They have to start firing, otherwise we have to replace them. That's as simple as it is. They don't start scoring goals and doing what they're paid to do, which is create and score, then you have to replace them. You know, I think we've given now, what's that? 14 games, is it, in total? Yeah, nearly, yeah. And how many goals have we scored? Have we scored seven in two games? Since that, it's... We have to be nearly perfect. You know, I feel sorry for the defenders because they have to be almost perfect for us to get a result. And it's really disappointing because the performance was really competent, difficult place to come. We never looked in trouble we didn't produce in the final third and that's what the game's about. And a message for the supporters, you know, they, they came up in their numbers, they only found out Tuesday night what the, where the location of the, the, this afternoon's game was going to be, they were in full voice, but, but obviously go away disappointed of course. with the defeat. Yeah, not, not acceptable for us, not acceptable for uh, the, the group, the players, the staff, not acceptable for us to get beat here. With, the performance was all right, but again, and we're not singling players out. But we should be winning the game with the amount of opportunities and situations we had around their box. We had opportunities to roll the ball in the corner of the goal and we hit it straight at the goalie. Or we missed the target. Or we put the wrong weight on the cross when it should be a tapping. Really frustrating, but we've got a long week this week. We've got three games now. We have Wheelstone, Tamworth, Maidenhead. That we've got to go and get a big total, points total from. Um, so yeah, tough week ahead for the players. Great, thanks Mark. Pleasure.